All right, John and John, we're live. All right. We got one person watching so far. Are they blowing up? Uh, I don't know. That one person hasn't given us any any hearts yet. Um, oh, there's vert Allison. Vertical video. Oh, Allison's in there? Yep, Allison just joined. Hey, Allison. <laughs> trying to fit everybody in vertical video really yeah, like, sucks. Like, <laughs> it puts you right there. So um, we've been in Tucson, Arizona at Arizona K-12 Center's tech camp uh, since Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's been a long week, but we haven't got to hang out much because you've been teaching classes. So we thought we'd just uh, hang out and maybe show it on Periscope and, and see uh, if anybody else is interested in what we talk about. That's right. I've wanted to show Tony Product Hunt for a long time now. Yeah, I'm so, so I get to see Hunt. Product Hunt for the very first time. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> okay, should I turn my... So, yeah. so first it's product, ProductHunt.com. All right, and there it All is. All right. Okay, so they just added a new feature, it looks like, Tony, where they're actually putting the pictures in. But the idea behind Product Hunt is simply that it's new products that are just kind of introduced to the world. Okay, and can I, we stop already? Sure, sure. There is an emoji URL shortener. <laughs> right? That sounds awesome. Okay, so right, so right off the bat, there's something, <laughs> and so all you would do is just click out, click out, and then you can see there's link emoji. Link emoji. So turn any link into an emoji. And so. it oh, has do my... a smiling frozen yogurt next to it. Yeah, a smiling emoji. frozen yogurt. Clearly and... you would want for dessert. Yeah, okay. So, okay, so put, uh, put my, put my website. I can't type, I'm holding the, okay. I'm Sorry. Holding the iPad. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, so here we go. Okay, so we're gonna make the, com. We're gonna make the link. Make the link. So, so, so you can put emoji in a URL and it'll work. Control click to copy, and if you don't like it, you can try. All right, so let's copy it. Oh, All right, so, so I could give somebody that my web address. Of okay. Emojis, so. Okay, so here we go. That's wild. Oh, oh wait, that was something else. Oh. Okay, hold on. That's, <laughs> Let me see. Okay. I think, I think it's gotta be this. Oh, thing. you gotta hit the emoji. Mo yeah. So I think it's that thing. Right? Okay. okay. Command C. Let's find out. Okay. And then, then you go new tab. Seriously, out there. I've never seen an emoji in a URL. That, All right, here that we go. That I don't understand how this is Will possible. It work? Oh, oh, it went right what? there. Okay, I'll go back. What? So, so what is? So you could type in your web web browser, pizza, um, froyo with eyes is what I like to think <laughs> okay, of it as. Dot w s slash octopus guitar corn wave video game yellow dog yellow dog cookie golf and then go to my website. That's right. <laughs> That is the most awesome, useless we thing like to, I've ever seen. See, and that's what I'm saying. So there's all these people that think of these useless things. No, look, see, and then they give you similar sites. So then there's so there's some, sites that some, will also. The, the, those are like emoji related sites that yeah. will, after you've clicked on it. And so yeah, then, Amy, I, oh my gosh, that's so then crazy. we can sit there and we can upvote it. But these are the kind of things that you can find on Product Hunt just every day. Okay, can go, wait. Can you go back to just so we can see what that emoji? URL shortener is one more time. Link. Link moji. Link moji. Link moji. The number one. Here, we'll upvote it even. There yeah. you go. Tweet, That's how it gets are up you, there. You're tweeting that out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is this is an exclusive that we have. Just because no. Amber team needs to know that this exists. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Link moji. Link moji. And so it just has cool sites that are on there. And so a lot of times it has advice for startups and then a lot of people that are on the startups use this website. So there's things that, you know, don't there's Slack. Slack is a big uh -huh. one because everybody uses Slack that com to communicate. So they have different features that you can put into Slack. So, so Product Hunt isn't necessarily meant for education. It's just any kind of thing. About, right. But you check it every day, and that's how you find, find a lot of gems. That's right. That, so here's one of the other gems I found. So this is the one that you like, Tony, at the uh, one. So then I went to Stampsy, which is one thing that I found on Product Hunt. Mm -hmm. And then I've turned it into this kind of nice board where we have our video finalists. And so it's the nicer, as we're cloning it right now, mm -hmm. the nicer looking Pinterest. It looks almost like a website. This is just a stamp board. And then each of the stamps, if we click, if we click this one, you can put in a nice little visual for it. And of course, we're on mm -hmm. hotel Wi-Fi, so maybe. And then look, the video will play. Christina's calling you a right rock star, by the way. Oh, thanks. So yeah. anyway, but so Stampsy, Stampsy is one of the okay. ones can that you, I found. Can you take us to the homepage of Stampsy? Yeah. So that's a stamp that you've made. So these are stamps, and then this is just my feed right now. So let's see if we can actually get just feed to the whole me. page. 
<laughs> oh, then maybe my homepage is the same thing as oh, my feed. Okay. So then you can see some other things that have. And been you on just there. paste a link, and then does it give it a picture automatically? So, like Pinterest does. You get to pick out the picture. So, right. So you go like this, and you can create. And so you create the new stamp, and you can create a collection. And then down here are your choices. A stamp That's collection. Kind of yes, okay, it's a stamp good. collection. And so you like you can even put in audio, which is uh -huh. kind of cool. So like we could take some of the, what were we, what was the website we were talking about that um, does the flash audio. Uh, Vocaroo? Vocaroo. So you could take a Vocaroo link and probably put it in there if you wanted to oh, and cool. make a class collection of Vocaroos. So is... I was saying it would be even good for portfolios for kids. Like the kids could start their portfolios because you can put text in there as well. So look, there's Stampsy. the text one. Stampsy. Huh. And you like that one. You like that one when we periscoped at ISTE. Yeah. So you're like, yeah. that looks kind of cool. So, so that's hi, Jenny podcast. Ashby. There's trouble with your signal. I don't know if that's you or me. Hopefully, it looks like we're okay. Signal wise, is she, we hope she's so. in Australia, right? She is in she Australia. Is. It's early so for her. She was, she was, or maybe she might still be in Tasmania. It's oh, really cold there. Did, did you see that Australia tried to deport Johnny Depp's dog? Oh Go no! Look it up. I know. Huh. Oh look, here's one meerkat cameo. That's one from Jake Duncan too. I remember. Yeah. You were saying that you can I like invite it. I like this person. idea of meerkats like Periscope, but you can invite somebody else to take over your stream. Yeah. I would invite Jenny to take over right now. Right, see, that'd be fun. She could take it yeah. over for a minute with that. Yeah, it's like when you offer her a wireless microphone and boom, she's gone. So anyway, <laughs> so I think this is a really cool one. So it has, and, and usually, Tony, it has a lot of different um, iOS apps that just come out too, and usually yeah. they um, put them with a... So is it always new stuff? It's, it tries to be new stuff. Now there's, it, I don't know if they've been going a little bit, like when this one, Artifact Uprising for iOS. Can you add like kind of cool. Alta Vista just for the sake of that still works. nostalgia? <laughs> it does its does own it? thing like Yahoo. See, look at this. This looks kind of, have you heard of this one? Artifact Tony? Uprising. Create a photo book in minutes with this iOS Well, app. I like to do things in minutes. That's right. The interest is totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tweet? Did you tweet him something? <laughs> I think I might have tweeted him some fro yo. <laughs> oh, oh okay. we, we, we're no, past that thing. We were talking about emojis. No. And then we're, we're looking at product hunt and seeing what kind of new stuff is out there. So yeah. Well, hey, Chris, we, we're missing you here at Tech Camp. We, oh, Chris is there? Yeah, we, we just finished dinner at, at Zen Burger and then um, I did I did my Chris Giles impression of saying, okay, uh, who who wants gelato? Are we going for gelato? <laughs> Who's going for gelato? You did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chris, remember you're supposed to give me that ISTE. You're supposed to give me the update to the ISTE standards. Can you tweet those at me. Remember we saw. I saw <gasps> Recess you know, duties in here. Oh wow, he's awesome. Look at this. What, the temperature 145, not quite. Like it's 138. Yes, and we're not wearing pants. So I am John. <laughs> I'm wearing so, pants. Exactly. Yeah, you. Do you, you John shorts, is wearing are shorts pants. Or not? No, no, shorts are shorts. Okay. Pa pants are. It little, makes it sound like yeah. you're not wearing shorts either when you say. No, it. no, I'm wearing shorts, Dean. I'm wearing shorts as as usual. It's colder in Tucson than Phoenix. Yeah, Tucson's usually a few degrees cooler. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Fifty Can degrees. We, but Jenny, is that fifty degrees? Is that Fahrenheit or Celsius or? Okay, so let let so can you t so in product hunt like I'm a little obsessed with emojis right now. Okay. Can you type an emoji and then it will show you all the things that are related to that, or is it really just like yeah. the newest things are up first, or no, can you search? It, it does it. So it does it by does it by day, but we could go in and we could just search for emoji then and see what comes up. And fast then, emoji keyboard. Fast emoji keyboard. Can you limit it by platform? Because like the first thing's iOS, and what if I'm looking for a desktop? I don't know if you can limit it by. That. Dean, where, where are you? How is it Friday already? Is it really on the... What, do my math? Where is he? Is He's it, not on Eastern Standard Time, is he? Hmm. It's not even even be. Eastern Standard Time. No, but Atlantic Standard Time? If he's in... Is he in Newfoundland? <laughs> <laughs> Newfoundland? New, New, <laughs> New, Newfoundland. <laughs> so... What's the benefits of having an account? An account on Product Hunt? Okay, I do. Um, I actually got a, an account no, from good. Jake Duncan, Is who has much Product Hunt cloud, and I can upvote things. Then I can also um, submit new products if I have an account. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. I haven't, I haven't had the, I don't know, guts to do it yet. But we, had, Tony and I, had talked about maybe <laughs> submitting something. Get, so getting in there. This <laughs> vertical video thing drives me crazy. Periscope, like it's like. We have to like be touching cheeks in order to like all three of us be in here. <laughs> These kind of cheeks. <laughs> no, there's draw with emoji. I want to see that. <laughs> okay, where was it? Up here. 
Draw with emoji. Let's see. Where I it was. It, oh my emoji god. There are so many emoji things. Eight I'm gonna be up all night looking at these. Um, emoji eight ball. No, it, was, it said draw with emoji. Here, do a do a, a a find on page and look for the word draw. Oh, there's Seinfeld emoji. Okay. Emoji draw. So, um, for, oh, for tech camp, I'm, I'm always looking for interesting, new, like housekeeping things because we have to talk to the teachers and um, you know tell them about the week. And so um, this year, I I tried to do the housekeeping items as a strings of emoji, and I made Sarah Crawford try to guess. She did a good job. She did a good job. Yeah, I. You had to lead her down the road. Yeah, the but once you see all the there's there's um, a BuzzFeed article that has like all these scientific theories written out as emoji, and you mm -hmm. try to guess, and then you click the box to see if you got it right. It's really kind of kind of cool. Okay. In order to express something as an emoji, you kind of have to understand it, and you're limited by what emojis are there. Right. So. Okay. So I think, to and then you are going to draw with emoji. Cause... I'm going to draw. Okay. Okay. So there we go. So well, Tony what, Vincent what do I is do? now on the clock. So, so I, we will have to see if he can figure it out. Do I draw an emoji? Oh. Okay. I, oh, okay. Oh, now I see wow. what's... Wow. How do I get big ones? Mm. Spatula. These aren't... <laughs> Any of your Zoom turned out? How do I... Hand? Oh, Dean says, what, Dean, your life is one of the most interesting lives we know. We were just talking about that at dinner. So, draw with emoji. Look at this. Look how Tony worked this. These are, I don't, these are not the Tony emojis. Vincent. These are not the emojis I know. Like, okay. Okay, I'm done, with, I'm done right. with this one. Draw now. with emoji. That, no, that was good. not okay. as nearly as cool as I was Emoji hoping. brush. Ooh, you're better at this. Are those Death Stars? I didn't know... Yeah, yeah, it looks kind of like the Death Star. Really it's really kind of the same. <laughs> Let's see if we select this color. Oh. All right, oh, that's see, a little bit better. Jenny, I'm I'm back in control of the screen. I think John probably didn't. I always keep things toward the top for Periscope people. Oh, Jenny okay, sorry. Was complaining sorry, about Jenny, work. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to stickler she is for perfection. <laughs> So here's the one. Here's where I got my inspiration for the one. So you look at all the things that are for Drake. Drake, he's like a singer guy. Drake, right? right. He's the rapper. Is he, is he a Canadian singer? He is a Canadian there's singer. A so there's a Dean. Uh, but yeah. So here, so you think? Hey, all right, Dean, so Dean, if you're there, do you know Drake? Because I know Canada is not that big. Never heard of him. <laughs> Never heard of him. Okay, so here's 50 shades of Drake. Now you'd think that this is going to be bad for Periscope, but it's not. You can just look up your grayscale and then you can punch in the numbers on your number wheel and you can get the grayscale. Oh, so it just has Drake's profile, but these are the different grays that are go with Drake. The, the hex code for that. Yep, so. exactly. All right. So that's kind of, so you, just when you think you know it, you don't. But so, and then my favorite is the Drake shape cap, of course, because you can put Drake in any picture. The only rapper he knows is Snoop Dogg, Snoop, <laughs> or Snoop uh, Guy. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. I'm, impre I'm impressed with that. Okay, let's let's find the, the next latest and greatest uh, okay. ed so tech we'll go, oops, tool. Let's get it out of there. It's not. It, it, I was hoping a emoji draw would be something. That link emoji is very interesting. Okay, so let, let's go. Let's go in and see. Highlight and save and share any web page. Okay, so they're doing these now. So it's iPad and iPhone. Would you like to see that app? Yeah, let's do something web based okay. since we're on the okay. web right now. Okay. Wildcard: a fun and easy way to meet interesting people at events. Mm. Well. We could, I mean, we could use that here. Yeah. At Camp Plug and Play. Let's see. A B test your profile pic. John, we could use Face that in our session. <laughs> right? We could. Jen, Jenny Ashley must be having connection issues. Text bomb your enemies leaving. with cats? Text bomb your enemies with cats. I kind of want to know. See, they have some that are like that, back. too. The best way to read email newsletters. Mm. It's hard. Like, think of you know, each one of these is somebody has put a lot of work into these tools mm -hmm. and. And we just scroll right by them, or it's an idea that won't take off. Or maybe it could be a good idea, but there's just so many things to choose from. Right. So they have probably about twenty-eight to thirty per day. And you check this? Is this I, like, I, you, I do check. Do, it you, do you wake up in the morning and get your coffee? And... I do. I do. <laughs> I really do. That's what I do. I check. I check and see what's going on. Like if I have, I, I check the day before usually because mm -hmm. I haven't gone there. Oh, this one looks cool. Okay, so this one screams like 
education to me. My Great album, visual stories on the go. The go. Okay, we're so we're all like very that. busy people. Okay. We're always on the go. So it's a free visual storytelling app. And so I think that that's something that's probably worth checking out. Mm -hmm. So you just download that thing. Create visual stories on the go and take your photos and probably like a lot of other apps, but you never know which one's going to... Yeah, let's know. see the screenshots for this one. Okay. It's called... Oh, what was the name of it again? It is called My Album Visual Storytelling. Dean wants to know when you get grumpy. Oh, when I'm on a podcast with Dean is when I get grumpy, of course, uh, because then we're grumpy old teachers. Grumpy. Oh, you haven't I must bring out the best in you. Yeah, you haven't listened to Grumpy Old Teachers, and I'm always <laughs> sitting there. You know what? My Diane Ravitch, Artie Duncan article brought out the grump in me today mm -hmm. already. John saw that at the I do know time. Arnie Duncan is Arnie Duncan, that's the yeah. button right there. So I don't know. It looks kind of looks kind of cool. Enrich. I only view a past this song. No, John is no longer iPad Sammy. I mean, he always will be in, in our that's hearts, right. but he's uh, John Samuelson. A much, talk about boring, Dean. That's a boring. <laughs> It's no J.J. Ash. Um, that's right. So anyway, I don't know. That looks cool. And look, it's got like podcasts on there that you can look at. So the Recode, Decode. I mean, so it has a bunch of different things on there. And then it, just when you thought there weren't enough, it, there's more. I saw this one on the feed today. Plenty. And I was, all right, so this Dean might like this one because it has to do with sports. So look at this. Fans pledge, teams perform, performance-based fundraising. How it works. Let's see. Because I thought that looks interesting. Huh. Raise money online for your favorite cause. So it must have to do with like you can raise money for a cause based just, on how well your sports team can does. You just, can you huh. scroll up for a second? Sure. That's fascinating. That they chose a Davis New and Montserrat fonts. Like it's an interesting combo. Did you like We're it? We're admiring the fonts. I do, but that's, that's Davis New and then that's... Why, why does that fascinate you? Because you're choosing a wide... And then such a thin font with such different R's. Uh, such a crisp, humanist font and then a stylized font right there. Just mm. an interesting combo. And then and then you decided to go thin on it right there. And then back to Montserrat. Paying $700. Yeah, but Tony, where, where's the Comic Sans? <laughs> that's, that's all we want to know. That's, Tony, that's do you remember when you did your session at... Um, at um, Mobile learning, and that you had that boy talking about podcasts and talking about the fonts and the yeah, turning. Yeah, and podcasts. I said that was John Spencer. Yeah, and that there I, I saw it. That's totally it. Happened. That's totally it. We yeah. just saw it in person. <laughs> so anyway, but I thought that one was kind of cool. And so that one, if you follow Product Hunt on Twitter, that's the one I saw was Pledge It. And so it yeah. just has some different things. Type pipes beats one songs into a Slack channel. Jenny, Isn't Jenny wants to know if you have uh, what the font that app. I think you. You I probably have that if you're a font, Do you have the font, font fan. I, I I use just the the font checker. I can't remember what it's called on on Google Chrome and then mm -hmm. check that. But there's there's, there's got to be an app like you point your phone at something. But that, and that's, the fonts, is that right? what that is? Because I'm is that, curious. I'd love to I don't know. check that out. What the font? And double check. I know that I I've used it as a website in the past, and you upload like a screenshot, and it tries to tell you what's an the app. Font she is. says. Oh, so you just right. point and click and go. Oh, what font is that? Yeah. Ooh, that I like that. Like something really no, nice. Jenny, I don't yeah. know that one. That's good. good. All right, thanks, Jenny. I'm glad, thanks, you, Jenny, glad you're here. Thanks, Jenny. Jenny, what time is it there? Okay, so let, let's not talk about product hunt anymore. Okay. Um, let's let's talk about what you guys have been doing this week. Oh, on. okay. Go ahead. Try it. <laughs> one thirty. So, so um, at Tech Camp, it's it's uh, we. This is our tenth year doing it here in Arizona. <laughs> We're getting all these hearts for no reason. That's, there we, that's I like, awesome. we like I hearts like, for no yeah. reason. <laughs> um, and it, the t uh, class of twenty five teachers, instead of like a conference where they you know they, they go from session to session, they get uh, two two facilitators and they spend the whole week learning and making things. So we call it camp plug and play. And so <laughs> this duo, John and John, have been uh, teaching crazy guys. teaching a class <laughs> called. Uh, uh, making your work published, and they've been talking about publishing, and they've um, been doing some really great things in there. Um, it, this is your chance now to, like, I guess, encapsulate what you're doing, or what, what's like, what did you teach today, or what, what, what's the? Let me defer to the lead teacher, John T. Spencer. I um, it's so so weird to see. What's <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Dean has been here. D I saw yeah, Dean on the Dean keynote list. Yeah, he's in there. So what I. I, we could talk about what our class is, um, but what I love about this is this is the only maker-oriented PD that I've ever seen. 
And I know that like ed camps have started adding maker spaces and it's gotten trendy and everything, but for since the inception of Camp Plug and Play, I feel like the focus has been let's spend our time actually making something useful. For 10 years they've been doing that. Let's make something useful that you will use in your classroom. Mm -hmm. And I just love this idea of the play concept of Camp Plug and Play, of like, you're gonna make stuff right now. And yeah. so because the, the, the number one thing that teachers say when they leave a workshop is, well, now I need a week to, to figure yeah, this out. Mm -hmm. I need time. And so we have time. We And we're at a resort that's really great. And we feed them, and and, um, and they, they get a lot accomplished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's exactly it. So I mean, in this case, it was like, make your work published. But they are actually publishing something. So it's they're creating blogs for the first time mm -hmm. or... They're making podcasts and setting up the podcast for the first time. And so it, instead of it being like, um, I'm going to go to nine sessions about 20 different tools, they're getting to like really explore the concept of what it means for kids <laughs> to publish. Do you nuance. 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 <laughs> nuance. <laughs> nuance. Oh, yeah. Adobe, Adobe Voice. We actually showed Adobe. Thing. That was yeah. one of the ones we showed right off the bat today was Adobe yeah. Voice. No, but I do I do love the notion of teachers getting a chance to be creative. Like I, that is something I'm passionate mm -hmm. about, makerspace. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, makerspaces are very nuanced, aren't they, John? <laughs> they are. I like the nuanced makerspaces. So uh, uh, as long as they have rigor. <laughs> that's right, right. Uh, rigor and relevance. I think he takes hearts back for that one. <laughs> 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 and echolocation, exactly. <laughs> so, so John, yes. Have there been any surprises this week? Yes, I have been surprised at John Spencer and how serious he is. He's been very serious. He said we we're going to have a lot of fun. Very He's been serious. very serious, like you just talking right there. Very serious. I have to come in and liven up the party for him. But so that's yeah. what, that's my job. I come. Do you guys want to go to Wisconsin and uh, do a camp there? Yeah, we totally would. We totally <laughs> would. In fact, thank I'll just you. Just pack it in my suitcase. Right. <laughs> okay. We will go and do a camp anywhere. I will. We will go do a camp here. We will go do a camp there. We will go do a camp anywhere because this really is mm -hmm. the most fun. I, I love doing this. It's yeah, fun. we call it camp. And then this at the Westward Look Resort here in Tucson, it is kind of campy because. Yeah, it, each teacher gets a room to, to stay in, mm -hmm. and, and there, there's always a story of somebody has critters that, that come into their room. A bobcat, um, whatever. We haven't, I don't think we've had that, no. but, but some probably bobcat-sized bugs live here, so we've had that. <laughs> we're going to make we're gonna make Chris sad, because Chris has been, I think, what, since Camp 2, and we're okay, on Okay, but 10, let's be maybe. real. It's called Camp, and there's amazing chocolate nachos, and you're in, like, a, an amazing yeah. resort. I don't know if camp's the right word yeah. for it, but yeah. that's it's actually more. I've like, never slept like so well in my life right now. <laughs> I hope my wife's not watching, but yes, <laughs> I've had some really good sleep uh -huh. here at Camp Plug and Play yeah. because I have a king bed and silence. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so you you've been so excited to work with John Spencer mm -hmm. like the whole time since we started like this like a year ago. So mm -hmm. um, you know, besides all the content he has, what what have you learned about teaching from him? Oh man, that's a, that's a tough one. I don't know, but no, you know what? Um, what I've, <laughs> right, I've learned what not to do with the. No, I mean John's great. I, I did say that I, I thought that it was going to be awesome because not only can I help him and help you know facilitate, but I can just watch John and uh, some of the ideas that he has are just um, incredible. And I have been surprised at how serious he's been. He's up there very serious. All the time, but um, does I've slip learned, in a pun or two. Yeah, he'll slip in a pun yeah, or two, and but that, and then we'll. Yeah, but um, that's respectful. It's right. No, it's been really good to watch and just pick up little things that he thinks about, and then he'll always like. I almost wish I had a gong there, like on Techlandia, for every time he drops a name, he'll be like, you know what? I was over here, and my good friend William Chamberlain does comments for kids. I always want to go ba bong. We'll play like buzzword gong <laughs> bingo dropping. or whatever name dropping, but um. It's been great. It's been great sitting there with John because there's a lot of times that I, and when Tony came in the other day, I will just sit there with my computer like this, and I'm just learning, and I'm thinking, gosh, I'm actually getting paid to learn stuff, yeah. and it's all, it is. It's been really awesome. Well, I told you my role here is besides helping plan it is I just get to go in and out of these five classes and um, help out where I can, and then also just learn. So right. it's great. I I'm always besides content delivery and. Um, one thing, John, you're really good at is making metaphors and helping teachers mm -hmm. understand complex um, ideas by relating it to something they know. So. 
Oh, yeah. And I just want to point out on the flip side. Uh, it was. Not, one thing that what I've learned from John Samuelson is. Um, that's a free, that's my free purple cover I got at ISTE. <laughs> one thing I like about working with John is um, he's incredibly humble. I think I already always knew that, but he, he just focuses on what teachers need and what they want and patient and working with people and not afraid to give the spotlight to somebody else and be patient and flexible mm -hmm. and I was like it was seriously like a moment of being like this is who I want my kids teacher to be and I know you're not in the classroom oh, anymore but it was like a gosh this guy's awesome can I get my our, ourselves hearts? Does that work? <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it's been great. And that's, You're not gonna have that's seriously what we no, it's, no, do it. It's it's <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, but <laughs> seriously, when we've been doing stuff hug. today, we were when we were sitting there, we were we both of us were doing the exact same thing. We were just sitting there. <laughs> And uh, we were, we were helping them do whatever. We had so much to, I'm trying to be serious here. Chris, you stinker, you stinker. But um, no, we were, we were seriously just helping everybody where they were at. So it wasn't just me doing that, it's John. Like we were sitting there and we would, we would go over to one person and we, the, I feel like the best PD right now that I've been doing this summer has been not very much planned, giving some teachers, give them a little time and then have them ask questions and then they kind of sit there and work and mm -hmm. I think they've really appreciated it and um, I've done that in Oregon and now here in Arizona and it's surprising how little preparation you have to do yeah. that's because John knows a lot though too you know yeah. well, when you, and you can you can personalize it when you have the same group of teachers for a whole week mm -hmm. because you get to know them from the beginning and and you know we we, we try to be really well planned for this camp but mm -hmm. and our best plans go out the window every time because once we meet our campers and know their needs we we have to make changes yeah and, and then the other piece that happens is every teacher brings in some type of expertise there's some something that that they're better at than both of us and that's mm -hmm. cool to be like so there's a couple of principles that I'm learning things about leadership from them. Or there's, uh, I was just telling him, I know of a, a couple, actually three teachers from my old district who I was nervous about for a second because I knew from seeing them that they're amazing teachers. Yeah. And so you're like, I may not learn tech from these people, but I'm, I'm going to learn a ton about great teaching just from the conversations. Yeah. And like, yes, we have talked about that joke. Uh, they're, they're gone. We had them for they were for lunch and they were last night. So, so we have five strands with um, twenty five people in each. So one hundred twenty five people plus ten uh, facilitators. And so our, our other strands besides making your work published that the Johns are doing are um, making, games. making games. Making games. So they're doing, they're doing coding and, and gamification in there. I know the two that are next door to us and then making a website, Dr. Christie. Making, not making websites, making marvelous websites. Making so marvelous websites, website, sorry. <laughs> and then what, was, what are the other two? Uh, that making infographics. Of, info, oh, right, the infographics. And making task cards. Okay. And making task cards we made just for um, K-2 through teachers. And we found that they really like being together because their needs are different than, than <laughs> others. And, they, they, yeah. and you worked with them in, in the past. I know those were the, yeah. that was the last two I've done were the K through three yeah. teachers. Yeah, they, they are they are very very marvelous. But so anyway, that was good. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, that was that was fun. It's like like getting late. Here, for can I do a, Can I do a quick one? Can we do a quick okay. one for the yeah. eleven people there? You help us spread the word for Global Play Day. It's February 3rd, 2016, and this was our other poster session at ISTE. Wink, wink, Tony. And uh, so what, we, um, what they, we're doing is we're just trying to get teachers to go, and you can go to globalschoolplayday.com, and then you can sign the form, and we're really just trying to take back a little bit and show that brain breaks and kids playing to defeat standardized testing a little bit or some of the some of the things are there that kids can actually take a day and take that recess that sometimes we weren't allowed to take in Texas besides their lunch recess you know we would get in trouble if we took that extra half hour of recess and that wasn't what we were supposed to but this is the day where we say we're gonna just do it and we're gonna take that extra half hour of recess or that whatever we need to do and go and play with kids and so that's it during your during your regular old school time. Mm, cool. They had a bunch of people participate last, look at six continents, 65,000 students. So that's yeah. sign up for next year.
So th th they should just have a stick around strand uh, next to Camp Plug and Play, somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, what we're going to do. We're going to put stick around on Product Hunt. That's when you see it tomorrow, yeah. you'll see it there. <laughs> so, so somebody asked, I'm actually filming, filming, you don't say filming, recording, <laughs> broadca right, film, broadcasting film. this from an iPad. And so I, I just brought, a, this is a cheap mono price stand so that um, the iPad can stand up because um, I've been watching a lot of periscopes and they're so shaky they make me a little crazy mm -hmm. um, so that's that and then I'm doing it on an iPad because that way it's better I can move like if my phone was that far away we have a harder time reading that so, what mic oh, did I use the, it yeah, the iRig mic well it's funny you should ask oh I, I want one of these so bad well, and I only you only need this in, in noisy environments right because I'm assuming you guys can hear us okay out there um, but it, it did a no, really good job the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we, we've been on the mute button the whole time. <laughs> they just wanted to see a hug. That's right, right. right. Um, it's a it's an iRig uh, HD, so it plugs into the the lightning part. Um, if you'd like, you go to Amazon uh, and you can get that Tony V dot me slash microphone. It's ninety nine dollars. Um, and I, I think it sounds pretty good. This cord is a little iffy. It's already coming apart, so I'm not happy about that. But uh, otherwise, it was really handy at ISTE to have the microphone for sure, because I don't think it's here. So. And then, Chris, I can tell you that I have the, the younger cousin of that one, which is the kind of brightly colored karaoke mic from the same company. And uh, I want to say it was like $30 on Amazon. So if you, but I, I really want one of those. This, this, this HD one must be unidirectional, the way it cancels out the rest of the sound. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I've, I've been buying iRig microphones for years yeah. just because Tony Vincent told me to. And they <laughs> they work every time. They, uh -huh. they, they, they've just worn out now, so I need some new ones. Yeah. They're good stuff. Yeah. Come on, iRig, send us, some, send us one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Tony says it, we do it. That's exactly <laughs> See, it. And thank you, Chris, for calling me Tony. Um, these two guys... I can't just be Tony to them. It's always Tony Vincent. And uh, they have <laughs> teachers in their class this week. I, I sit down to breakfast and to lunch, and they both mention how they like, can we call you just Tony, or does it have to be Tony Vincent? Because John and John are always just Tony Vincent. Oh, well. It's a form of respect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Godfather, you know. I Unless don't there wanna, was I don't another Tony here. That's there. right. <laughs> Tony Soprano. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I think our work is done here. We've looked at yeah. product hunt. We've shortened my uh, URL, <laughs> to, URL to use emojis. I think, I think I'm going to use that one a little bit at, right after we get off the air here. I'm thinking. Yeah. I think that that calls for a whole bookmarked little page. Like I, I want to pick out emojis. Like if I could be Froyo, Froyo, Froyo. <laughs> right, we'll see. We'll see. That would... <laughs> Oh, the Brad Pitt of is, EdTech. Is that John? Oh, that, yeah. no, you're right. We're obviously oh, talking about John. <laughs> obviously, it's John this Harrison. John. Yeah. John Tony, is, is Tony has <laughs> always been the Brad Pitt of EdTech. Uh, Just like George Kuros is the George Clooney of EdTech. <laughs> is that what he is? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I think we used to use Brad Pitt for George Kuros, actually. Is that what we used? I don't know. Tony, you can pick who you want to be. Believe you it and George, not, you and George are so handsome. I don't we can't I'm stand happy being people. myself. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm wearing a cool t-shirt. This is how I can oh, yeah. Thanks to you guys for, for joining us today. Um, today was, uh, what, what do we call it? Ret retro, retro day. We did day. Throwback, throwback Thursday. Thursday. So um, I have a shirt that has an old, this seems really weird to turn it on. Okay. Um, anyway, it says, have you tried? And then at the bottom, <laughs> you gotta be careful where you're pointing. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried? It's backwards for me, so maybe not for you. Turning it on, and or turning it off and on again. So um, I've I've had to say that at Tech Camp a few times. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Today <laughs> it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. And if you Nick was Nick's here at camp with his with all of his outfits, it's been awesome. So. Anyway, we have we have really a half a day of camp tomorrow. A lot of campers will be showing the things they've made, and then uh, then we all go on our merry ways. Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah, to my house, and my family might recognize family. me. My, the hope they'll recognize <laughs> like, me. Who are you? Who is this well-rested like, person? Wait, who, yeah, who is this well-rested person? I just went to Philadelphia and <laughs> Tucson. That's me. Uh, and, and you should probably know Tucson is more of a destination place than Philadelphia. It, it's the happening. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Very Whoa. down. No. It's more relaxing. Wow. Oh, I'm an ASU fan. We, Are you guys, I, six years of slide to learn? I think I have four or five years. 
Um, and so at Slide to Learn, they get t-shirts every time, and a couple of, they, they have trouble getting the right sizes. Oh, They're usually okay. too small, but That's they wear I'll them anyway. That's right. That's because I'll show you. We get great bags here at Camp Plug and Play. J Jenny knows that. Yeah. Jenny knows the good bags. How many, how many uh, Philly cheesesteaks did you have in Philly? Oh, I had one every day. Five cheesesteaks, five for five. And I had three of them for breakfast. Three? <laughs> Not that's the that's, same that's, that's totally the truth. So, <laughs> this, is, this is like never ending Periscope, sorry. Um, but did you see the people who are not at ISTE? One of the things they were doing is they go, they went to, because they're not in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. they go to, the thing was to go to Subway and get a Philly cheesesteak sandwich right. from Subway and bring it back and um, and like you're like you were there. I did ISTE. the thing I, I did was I pretended I was um, at the vendor hall and I just emptied the junk mail out of my mailbox and was like, hey, this is just like being at ISTE <laughs> and having a bag filled with yeah. Well, and, and I took stuff. a picture of this. They had recycle bins. Like you got your bag and then three steps later there was a recycle bin. So I was like emptied the bag out and. Went on my way. Oh yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, the mobile twenty fifteen bags. Well, I have some to give away tomorrow for. Uh, oh nice, uh, nice. Okay, we're we're done here. I. I've but it's nice talking to you guys. Yeah, all of you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. See you, Jenny. You want to hug one more time? No. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I need. I meant to screenshot that. Darn. <laughs> I have to replay it, and you can't just skip ahead. I have to watch the whole darn thing again. Oh just to, right, just right. To screenshot that. <laughs> well, well, we'll have our class do it tomorrow because yeah. they've been doing a few a little of that too. Is taking screenshots out of videos. So. All right. Well, bye everybody. We'll see you later.